Anything else you thought about today on the pod this week? Um, hmm. Hmm. Let me think. Any new books I read? I would like to know. No. Any... God, I, had, I, had, I had a, I had a kind of another downish week. I was preparing for the summit, but then um, another twenty hours on TikTok. No, no, I've I've cut down my TikTok, but there was an increase this week. Oh shit! Um, but I think I I think I have I got a social media manager. I need to get on instead of me with on TikTok. Um, but like I skipped a day of my morning exercises. Oh fuck! I've only done that like three times. Once I was injured. That's the foundation. It is the foundation, dude. It is the slippery slope. I'm saying, I know it literally is though. That's literally the foundation. You you do that for for the morning. So you have energy in the morning to look at things, do some work, and then the dopamine thing, uh, you know, working out, whatever chemicals that does. Uh, I didn't do this morning. I'm going to do it after this. Um, books, Ultimate Sales Machine, another book I was thinking about. I barely read anything this week. Damn, I, I need to get to the gym as well. I need to get to the gym as well. I need to fucking. What do you need? I don't know. I was going to like try to run and go to the gym in the same day. But go running fucking makes me fall asleep. Do it without headphones next time. I'm going to take a run today too. Do I, I still headphones? can't do squats, man. Something's tight and it, and it flicks. I'm scared. Where? Uh, inside of right knee it's a muscle thing i think it's just something's tight but like i still haven't been able to like from like months ago i stopped doing squats in the morning and like i haven't even done like like leg weight stuff go see a doctor yeah i should they usually know stuff uh almost done with four hour work week i haven't listened to it in a minute i have one hour left i'm gonna get that physically because there's just some like hacks hacks in there um the membership economy. It's another one. I recently like sometimes I have like shower books that I can only half listen to. So the ride of a lifetime I started listening to again. So right now I'm at the ultimate sales machine in the membership economy. And as a man taketh. It's a good one. As a man thinketh equals just things in your brain and habits or what you're gonna be. I want to say that quote again, man. 19 Keys. That was a dope one. The ride of a lifetime. Lessons learned from 15 years as CEO of the Walt Disney Company. Disney, dude. Disney's such a fun model to look after. <laughs> Disney's like... Disney's definitely a, like a, a lighthouse for me in the media realm. Could Disney be done today? Same culture. Same like iconic characters. So and it's named after one person. That's what I'm talking about before, where you had such centralization in media, where like that was the thing. You didn't have a lot of options and you could make in a slow world in the 1900s, a super big empire pretty easily off of just media. Um, well, I don't know Were there like competitors that aren't around anymore that we don't know about. I'll look it up and report back. I know that like Disney was like, innovative in animation in terms of maybe had combining sound and animation and color technology again maybe they were on the forefront of media technology to give them the edge they're gonna destroy the metaverse I'm calling it right now I hope so they're gonna be like Yo, all right trillions who, who do we got who pixar we got? pixar into um when's the what's the last cult following of a brand man and try to keep it in media but, I, but i'm thinking like Apple is a very good cult. Gary V. Loki is a very good cult, but I don't know. Uh, brand, uh, I don't know. But that's what I was Rick trying to think of. Morty. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. Star Wars. Star Wars. Also, those aren't companies. They aren't media companies. I, I like I said, I, I I admire what Barstool's doing. It's it's somewhat similar, a little more niche and a little less IP. It's a little more person based. Um, I'm still like I got a hit piece on him. Portnoy, what do you do? He does a lot. <laughs> Some girl said they had rough sex or something. Ah, uh, well, I hope oh, everybody uh, gets stressed this in their own I way. Didn't read it. 
I like, like the story. story. I like the bar stool uh story. <laughs> like what if <laughs> someone was like, okay, I'm gonna make fucking what if I was like, all right, I'm gonna make Bonjin world and just fill it with Bonjin content. I was talking like, to someone too. Um it, it was the, the guy that is actually slotted to be on, but he he has a book about um web three stuff and he was asking for ideas of how just an idea and and he had the idea of kind of immersive authors having immersive worlds via nfts and, and ar and vr and stuff and i think that it's going to be a whole lot easier to create worlds of brands with ar and vr and nfts and everything especially because you have membership with nfts you know to build a full ass theme park no you don't you gotta buy twenty thousand dollars worth of land online expensive land bro De there's there's nowhere to build in decentraland it's already built up it's, damn i know there's there's places you can buy but like but you can buy the land off other people yes but one square and i i, I think you need more squares right to build up a, a solid plot of land one square is like five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars crypto voxel is like five thousand bucks a piece and that's like the fourth virtual world that people think of Blocktopia. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird time. Man. But like, like, and that's like, I don't know, dude. How do you like that? I see the value because it's scarce. Because the blockchain makes things scarce. But it's very is that it could die in, in a couple months. Is it properly? Is it properly valued though? Would you say? It is. So it is supply and demand. It is. It the is one, on one, a ledger. The one illegal. thing. I mean that's all cool, great, but but that's what makes it that's what makes it valuable because of the scarcity, the proven scarcity. If you could replicate these pieces of land, they'd be worthless. But that that also just goes back to the world. Like if you have scarce, like with NFTs, people have scarcity in art pieces, but it goes back to the value of the brand. So if Decentraland, which is, <clears throat> would you agree that's the number one virtual world in people's mind? Yeah, probably. Um, <gasps> if that brand somehow loses mind share just like big companies and stocks lost mind share and value went down if you have a piece of stock in the company it'll land will eventually go down is it overvalued at ten thousand dollars for a tiny piece of a square it depends how big decentraland is you know you can't yeah. like you can't build anything on a piece of a square you could resell it if people think it can go higher then it has some appropriate value i suppose but it will decentraland be the place to go virtually in five years fuck i don't know no. that's the risk part of it shit i should buy some not financial advice and sip bro should have bought you, some three weeks ago you should tokens you can buy tokens instead of land yeah but uh that land that land stuff is interesting but to, to, to build a, a place in Decentraland right now is 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 not so decentralized in the in the form of capital uh, equity of people. You got you got to be strapped. Well, that's just that's just the benefit of being an early adopter. I guess the we're just, we're just have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Do you think like I still think a lot of the big whales are just fucking just nerds that have been in the space since 2010 and they got rich off bitcoin got rich off ethereum and they're just like on it just they have their money in the next thing that we don't even know we, we're not even talking we're gonna be talking about it in six months their money's already in it that's why you research stuff uh i still I, I still veer on institutions that have a lot more money than it, what people want to believe in it um yeah. Blocktopia. Got BitBoy and Crypto Wendigo. What? Blocktopia. I'm going to go buy some Blocktopia stuff. <laughs> this is not, please, this is just what I'm doing personally. But if there's any time to FOMO on some virtual reality stuff, it's of a new thing that I just heard of that has a couple news agencies and probably the biggest sponsors in the crypto media space. 
Maybe that's why. Oh. The boy, both of them were on the panel. I should ask him about it. He also was talking about a company I work with, very derogatory, and, and it was very uh, awkward for me. <laughs> what company? I'll tell you offline. But uh, he had Walmart. very com. strong opinions, and I had to be like, oh, nice, dude. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Ah. And then go on to somebody else who was in a different risk appetite than he was. Yeah, I, 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 like, I, yo, you're going to catch these virtual hands, bro. What's your gamer tag, man? I'll fuck you the, up. No, that I mean, that's funny. That's, bro. <laughs> talk, talk about a little entry. Talk Do a celebrity virtual boxing, bro. Easy. Boom, boom. Holy shit. You know <laughs> that's going to come. That's super easy. You do that right now on Oculus. Um, holy shit let's just make a website celebrity <laughs> virtual boxing and then we just like let me think let me, let me think this out real quick you, you pay like five dollars you pay five dollars to like view the match for free when it happens we use all the money we raise to pay two influencers to fight each other yeah. and then wait, wait lists are the things yeah and <laughs> damn i don't know I'm not, I'm not gonna do that Thanks for listening, everybody. Rick and Bond, hop over to Instagram, Rick and Bond, because I don't have a URL right now. And then hop into the Discord. There's a couple people that got their ideas on the pod via the Discord. Uh, shout out the first 50 that is on the Discord. The first 50 people, the, the early adopters of the Rick and Bond Discord family have been, have been deemed as the first 50. They have a role on there as the first 50 um definitely hold on to your ricker and bond nfts we're gonna in 10 years we're gonna see you still holding them and you will win full access to both of our bodies <laughs> there will be years. a couple of things that i want to try to build up with people on discord um so if you're listening at, at this far into the episode you're obviously a hardcore r&b fam member yes. hop on over to instagram go to the discord sign in um I'm going to try to do more <clears throat> things on the Discord. Um, but there's been there's been a few people that I've talked about. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, man, especially with the Instagram funnel. A lot of it, especially before a couple weeks ago, was meme-based. So you get a lot of meme lords. You get a lot of internet meme cats. And I'm not, I kind of have siphoned my internet to get far away from meme people. Well, that's the trade-off when you have a business podcast and a comedy Instagram. This is why I've uh, veered a little bit towards uh, trying to get content on there that is not just TikTok-based. It actually has helped, too, with engagement. Um, but, you know, it's not exactly a bit. It's a variety, it's a variety of business, but we are business-based. But you also have different worlds in the R and B universe. So if you're in the Discord and the Instagram, I don't even well, know what. I don't even know what is this a comedy podcast? It is. It is. It is. We didn't say a joke all episode. Has comedy. I wonder if it's get any organic reach on business. Either way, that's not the, know. It's, the most important thing. It's kind of the brand. Uh, but there has been a lot of engagement on uh, just non-comedy Instagram stuff. But I, I do pop in an Instagram just for organic reach. But hey, we talk about comedy. Comedic. So oh, hilarious. Talk about boobs and stuff. Should I go to the gym? That was a funny thing we posted with Mark Zuckerberg and his boobs. It's like, that's pretty neat. <laughs> All right, dude. So maybe get like, I thought that was real at first. I was like, what? Maybe like, <laughs> No way. Metaverse Damn. meme page. You did metaverse memes? Come on now. Dude. <laughs> Come on now. He said, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Maybe niche, really niche into it, you know? Really, really niche into like I don't want to get crypto me. I I mean crypto I don't want to dangerous get crypto. community. I don't want to get crypto meme. Full of a bunch of rich assholes. <laughs> but like different, like rich assholes, like they're still they're rich, but they're frustrated because they're still virgins. <laughs> it's like what's the i don't get it i'm rich i got money why can't i fuck it's like that's a solid niche bro you want to get into that niche bro that's you got that's you got capital you got high ticket you got hey bro you you made a million off of crypto bro <laughs> and then you, i have a coaching course i'm like There's Yo, niche, ten thousand dollars you want to need late in 30 days or less man you want to pay crypto. you want to pay uh, 
and my thing will be, you won't have to pay for it. You won't have to pay for the girl. I'll get you late organically. You won't even have to flaunt your money. Like you won't, you, you won't, you, I can't get you laid in a fucking 1996 Toyota Camry. There's, uh, as Mr. John Henry style said, there's rich in the niche. Uh, I pronounce it niche. Maybe you reach in the niche. But uh, if you, if you want to, like I said to a lot of people at that summit, it's always two lanes of experience that people are making in business usually that, that make it valuable. Um, it's never, it's, it's usually kind of like teared down to things that you've, you thought wouldn't be applicable to another field, but dating and, and man empowerment in, in the niche world of crypto. That's, that sounds like a, like a BJP thing to do. It's definitely a market for that, for sure. That's just waiting to just be juiced. Just That's squeezed. Fun, That's fun. Especially old guys. Yeah. That are just like old and rich and lonely. I want to talk to a young crypto cat about how to get laid. And it's going to be like, oh, I want to fuck a 20-year-old. And I'm going to be like, all right, man. What we're going to do first is get you in the gym, sir. Well, you could, all, you could make a, a vlogs out of it, too. Like a, like an actual show show. Like, yeah oh shit you know that'd be cool <laughs> make it the uh, queer eye for crypto old people queer eye for the and then rich guy and then when you do that too like i said the the game is don't use queer eye in, in the title it makes no oh, yeah <laughs> my name is bon Jin. i've been get, i've been getting boomers late since 2020 <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude um, haven't gotten laid since 2007 i got you haven't gotten laid since your 10-year divorce I got you. Like I said, the, the game is people, at, or half of the game is people. So you get you get those people coming to you, bro. You do events. Get Just make it like Nathan for you, like no, no, no. Meet Jerry. He's the founder of a software company, and he's pulling over a hundred and twenty million a year. Queer eye, dude. Queer eye. Go queer eye with it for sure. I've never seen queer eye. Go uh, home improvement makeover. Oh, like make him over. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. yeah, definitely that more so than sarcastic. Look at this fucker. <laughs> we're gonna get him. We're, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Yeah. Laid. Yeah. Did you ever watch uh, Home Makeover, bro? Extreme Makeover. Yeah, the guy who made people with houses. Yeah. That was an interesting time. <laughs> and then they couldn't play pay the property tax. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yo, do you want to? That's it's just the people own those homes. Or are they still mortgaging? I don't know. There's probably a couple stories. Let's get him on the pod. What is his name, dude? Ty Pennington. Uh, why do you know that off top? Because I know everything. That's why I have these glasses on. Oh, so Ty Pennington does not look great right now. He has, he has <laughs> this thin hair. You don't want thin hair, bro. If there's one thing, you don't want thin hair. This guy is 57. Ty Pennington used to be a host on Extreme Home Makeover, but now... Whoa. He is high on crypto, but he's divorced. Hasn't been intimate in about six years. We're going to go in a tie and completely kick a cake up his crypto life. Crypto Dude, cakes. He looks not good. This is crypto cakes. But he is 57. In 2006, he looks like everybody on MTV. <laughs> he used to look cool. Yeah, the frosted tips, dude. What's he up to? Food I wonder numbers. what his American. passion is. Is it construction? I mean, he did an American Diner revival in 2014, so maybe not. What was his problem? Dude, if I'm, I might reach out to him, homie. I think I could be a TV host, but I think it's kind of fake. You definitely have to play a character. Yeah, and then like people expect you to be that character. I'm like, yo, fuck off. Get out of here. Yeah. I'm not going to build you a goddamn house with an Elmo room for your daughter. There's characters in every space. But that's why I've... Like, I bring up John Henry again and, like, EYL cats and even, like, even, like, Lil Musky. They've all had public images, um, even Buffett to a extent, of just, like, not caring and not being a different character. From my perspective, it's been pretty genuine character in the, in the public life. I... Because one, you make a character, 
or you put on a different mask for Hollywood stuff or something, and that's what you make your success off of, you kind of have to make that just your only success story. And it's, a little, it's friction to get out of that. I don't know. Lady Gaga's doing it pretty well. What? She's an actress now. She's in a couple movies. Yeah. But she still yeah. goes as Lady Gaga. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like a non-authentic, like, I got to be... Uh, I don't know. She, she was you know pretty that? weird when she started. Pretty she, sure, like, sure. doing some weird shit. But I think, yeah, maybe that was a little more characterized, but... But she was, but that maybe her thing is kind of like doing weird stuff. Damn, what she's iconic. Like, uh, what's old girl, funny white lady who's kind of like, ooh, I'm edgy because I, uh, and I burp and fart and stuff. Oh, Amy Schumer. Not her. Actress. Uh. Her face, Jen or Jennifer or something. She's like that. No. She. What? I don't know. I forget her, but even her thing is like it's like people are endeared to her character because it's Sarah like Silver. a real character. No, she's an actress. Oh, the funny white actress lady. The funny white actress. Not, not comedy, but she's like when she does interviews, she's like, "Oh, I'm so I'm just a bro." I don't know. Chrissy T. Chrissy T. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, but. The thing is, like, she's endearing to some people because she's like, oh, this is me as a human. And so if you're that as a character in your public image, then it's easy to continue to be a close representation of what you might be personality-wise by yourself. That was a long close. I think that close took about 30 minutes from when it started. But that's all good. Um, Ricker and Bond. Dot com. You need to do that a little bit. I need to. Can you grab me that that, that hosting thing too? I'm gonna get a landing site for stuff. Dude. If if it worked, it would we'd have a little more subscribers already. Dude, it's just so. It's just so refreshing to just say, just go to rickerandbond.com, and it's just there. It's just like it hops them. Everyone has an iPhone, pops them right there, and boom. But it hasn't. And we have a landing page with a bunch of shit. It hasn't resulted in anything. Okay, sure. Yeah. Results at the end of the day. I understand. It's like, ugh, landing pages. I hate landing pages. They're sure. gross. I understand. Especially when there's 50 things on them. It'll be three people, things. People don't like choice. That is true. You know, three things. I, I, I did read that. You got Apple. And, and they don't think I'll scroll down. If they want more things, they can scroll down. But it'll be above, above the fold. Have... Funny faces of your pals, both Ricker and Bond, and the Ampersand. Everybody loves the Ampersand. That's where the community lies. It's not an no, it is an Ampersand. Okay. If it resulted in things, I would I would be less anxious to do it. But Ricker and Vaughn. and then like you Google it and it's right there. What the? Oh wait, no, it just goes straight to Apple. But if Ricker and Bond dot com. Mm -hmm. it would just go straight there because I, I think people I don't know do people use Apple Music more than Spotify um, via the data that I have yes but still not the predominant thing the predominant thing is not knowledgeable to me so so what are you trying to sell on the landing page get some discord in there so I don't have to say go to Instagram and then Discord. Um, I can do some Apple Pod. And then the third thing. Only hands. Maybe a membership thing. That probably wouldn't be on the main landing page above the fold but maybe metaverse metaverse yeah it'd, it'd be a link to something else okay if it had if it had so many things to do uh 
then I, I would be fine with keeping it. But it hasn't got any subscriptions and listenership hasn't rocketed up. I don't think it's going to be a spike. It's about ease of use for the person, for me. I agree. I agree. I just hate saying going to Discord by going to Instagram. We can make it a URL. Make it a backslash. Cool. All good. Either way, let me get that hosted. Thanks for listening, everybody. Rickermond.com. <laughs> to go straight to Apple Podcasts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to listen to the show. Okay. Rickermond.com slash. Isn't the show our main product? Isn't that our flagship product? Kind of depends. Yes. But what's getting the most funnel? Because the membership economy comes from people opting in to the Discord early. But how do people fall in love with the brand? How do people fall in love with us? True, 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 true. true. Both places. But... Like my Instagram isn't popping. Your Instagram isn't popping. Like people like know our voices. YouTube do. And YouTube. So a couple things. I'll make a URLs, but you can keep the root URL to Apple Podcasts, even though that's a little bit of an alienation. But for podcast users on Apple, it's quick. Uh, and the podcast metrics on um, Apple Podcasts is, is, is the thing. Shorts are fun. People are really, uh, it's fun to see the, the short from being about cloud computing got some traction on Instagram. I'm liking the mm, game. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Ian. The cloud. The, the cloud, really. <laughs> the cloud, the iCloud. <laughs> well, let's cloud see. computing. Okay. I was going to say, you branded cloud computing to Apple, dude. You know, Google had a partnership with someone else for cloud computing. I think the government. Let me see real quick. So nobody owns clout computing so if anybody just wants to make a fucking agency or something yeah yeah that's a great name but nobody's listening this far into the pod so hey man that's a negative mindset i um for those of you still listening this far in the pod there you go there you go but you probably won't do it because it takes work um so yeah everybody have a good week bye bye love you